Hey guys, my name is Aaron, and in this video, I'm going to show you an affordable and convenient way to get into smart home tech. Let's get to it. Real quick before getting started, big thanks out to Oidum for sending out this outlet for me to share with you guys. If you end up being interested in it at all, check the description box down below for the link to this outlet on Amazon. The packaging for these smart outlets is pretty simple. It's just the outlet itself and then the user guide. Anything other than that really would have been just a waste. The design of the outlets is also just as simple where it's just the outlet itself and it has one on off button and that's it. I like that these outlets are small enough that you can actually stack them on top of each other. And even if you don't want to stack them, you still got the use of the unsmart port or the dumb port that doesn't have the smart outlet plugged into it because it doesn't take up both ports. Unlike the TP-Link outlet that I reviewed before in the past up here, that takes up both of them. This is the better design, hands down. There is Oidum branding on the front of the switch, and I wish that it had been blank instead. Like, I wish they would have put the logo on the back of the switch or on the bottom, maybe, but I understand why they did it. Not a huge deal breaker, but I wish that it had just been kind of a white front with the outlet and the on-off button. The user guide is also something in this case I would suggest you not throw away because it actually has detailed and helpful information that will get you up and going pretty quick. In the past, Oidum has always suggested that you use their Oidum Smart app, but actually in these directions they refer you to the Smart Life Smart Living app, which is provided by Tuya. This is nice to see because it's actually my preferred smart app when using third-party accessories like this. It's nice to see them make this change because I specifically complained about it here, and I think that I'm the reason that they made this change. No question about it. Okay, really, I have no idea. I probably had nothing to do with it, but it makes me feel great knowing that maybe I did have something to do with it, okay? All right, bug. <laughs> Once the outlet is set up inside of the app, you've got the ability to control the outlet by actually turning it on and off. You can have it adhere to a schedule where it turns on at a certain time or turns off at a certain time. You've also got the ability to use a timer, so you can have it turn off after an hour of being turned on or whatever you've got that set up to be. And then you can actually see power usage statistics, which is great because it's usually a feature that you see in more expensive outlets like this, but to see it in a budget-friendly device like this one is actually really neat to see. This outlet can be used with all the heavy hitters in the smart home area, so Amazon A, Google Assistant, Rokid, which is a new AI, I guess, that's in development, and it can also be used with IFTTT. One cool feature with the Smart Life app is you've got the ability to group like devices together. So I've actually got two of these outlets and they're both controlling the softbox lights that I use for my YouTube videos. And I've got the ability to turn them on inside of the Smart Life app or once they're set up inside of the Amazon A app, I've got the ability to control them via my voice. Alexa. Alexa. Turn off the studio lights. Alexa, turn on the studio lights. Okay. It's pretty cool, huh? Feature-wise for these outlets, that's about it. The only limits for the uses on these outlets is really your imagination. Coffee makers, lamps, soft box lights like these. My favorite part is actually using them for Christmas trees so you don't have to worry about getting on the floor, finding the switch, or getting one of those four kick switches that always ends up being moved. I can use Amazon A or use the app and turn my Christmas tree off that way. That's hands down my favorite way of using them. With the minis only being $20, you may have expected to lose functionality compared to more expensive solutions. And really that's not the case at all. You don't miss out on any functionality. With that being said, I highly suggest you pick up at least one of the Oidum Smart Plug Minis. If this video was helpful to you at all, please hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. We'd love to help you out in any way that I can. If you want to see more consumer related tech reviews on tech that I use and enjoy, I think you will too, hit that subscribe button. But until the next one, this is Aaron. Take care.